Azuka bars. Wherever the path takes you, grab an Azuka bar and you'll find yourself able to go farther with more energy. So behind the bar, we made the Azuka bar because we were tired of the old, ordinary granola bars. And you don't get a bang for your buck like we felt like you should. So we tried to make our own with our own combination of ingredients. And we tried to keep in mind the high market for demand for healthy choices instead of fat at Oh, uh, And super bars are the healthier t alternative to a midday snack that beat the ordinary granola bar with our whole grain oats and organic dried strawberries. Even our chocolate is healthy for you and it's shown to potentially reduce the risk of heart problems. Um, our first persona is for Patricia. She lives on the outskirts of Boulder in Colorado. She has three kids, ages of 12, 8, and 4. She, her favorite TV shows are Biggest Loser, The Food Network, and she loves Pinterest. Um, her kids are really active with school and sports, so she likes to be able to give them a healthy snack to keep them energized and that they like it. So she's glad that she found the Zucker bars because they give them energy and are healthy for them at the same time. So our second person is Gary, and he's an owl climber living in Boulder. His favorite shows are National Geographic and A Thousand Ways to Die. He shops on REI.com, and he's a snack he can depend on for taste and energy. He enjoys the Zucker bar because of the care and flavor he receives from the bar. Our packaging is made to pop on the shelves and grab potential customers' attention, and we'd like to place them near the checkout counter so when people are on the go, they can just grab them. And also, we plan to test our granola bars in local Colorado grocery stores, mountain trails, farmers markets, and at schools. And in the future, we plan on having our granola bars in a variety of grocery stores and local market stations. Um, our pricing, after we researched in the granola bar market, we um, thought the best fit, fit price for our granola bars would be around $3.75 for six bars. Um, we want to compete with the other granola bars with penetration pricing so we can um, get into the market by getting people to like us for our lower pricing. And then once we grow a base, we could probably make our prices go higher up so we can make more money. So pricing, it costs. Forty-four cents to make each individual bar. Per box, it costs two sixty-three. And if we sell them for three seventy-five, our profit would be one eleven. And a lot of market prices. So Cliff bars are two dollars for one bar. Luna bars are one dollar for one bar. And Nature Valley bars are four dollars for six. And your store, Boulder's Farmers Market, should endorse our products in your store because we have a guarantee for success and customers from your store will be attracted to the packaging, the healthy ingredients, and the great taste that you can't find for any other people. Thank you. Any questions? Talk to me about, of those kind of competitors which you just listed when talking about price, which of those do you think your bar is most similar to, or is it really just unique? Um, pretty unique. It's unique, but I feel like it's probably it, by looks, it probably looks like um, Nature Valley bars. Like and the crunchy ones? Yeah, except ours stick to, together more yeah, than they do, yeah. and ours are a little chewier, and ours probably taste better. Um, I'd say price, pricing and like buying it probably be around like the Luna bar since they're selling for a dollar, and we could probably like make our price bars for cheaper once we get a better base and we can start making our own. Okay. Um, why did you select the kind of Boulder area? Like, why do you think this area would be the right spot to really start? Because there's like a lot of mountains in Boulder and like Colorado in general, so we thought like people who like to be outdoors, like usually go to Colorado, and like there's like stay at home moms everywhere for like kids' snacks and stuff. And we were just looking for like a place where a lot of people are energized and like active because we want our bars to be like. Like, if you think about our bar, you want to, like, think about, like, energy and, like, outdoor and, like, like earthy kind of tone, and Colorado really has that. And go, like, grab it real fast to bring on the trail with you. I mean, 
early in the presentation, you guys mentioned the kind of rapidly growing health industry, and lots of people are kind of trending to that, and you guys were kind of creating a product because of that. Um, you're right, it is a very large kind of growing industry, but because of that, there's lots of competitors coming in. How do you think, as new competitors continue to come in, you really stay different and attract new people to your brand instead of the other competing brands? Well, first we're starting out with penetration pricing to build up like a like the people who will always be there for us, and then we plan to like come out with the new um, flavors because right now we have the strawberry crunch nut, and um, so we plan to like keep making new stuff to keep it interesting and make people want to try everything new because we want to. Um, they already know that our bars are good, but we want to make sure that we keep coming out with new stuff. Okay. Um, in addition to uh, our farmer's market, if we agree, where else could customers maybe get your product? Is there anywhere else they're available or not? Right now, we're also selling them in the local like mountain like ski slopes shops. So when you're about to go to the slope, you can go there. But we want to like start selling to like grocery stores and stuff too. Okay. We also sell them on like mountain trails, like right before you go on the trail, and we go in schools and like have them available there. Why do you think schools is an inter? It's an interesting, it's kind of a really different piece. Why do you think schools is a good fit? To get, like, kids to try it so then they can tell their parents to, like, get them for them in the future. Or, like, college kids who want, like, energy and they also want to, like, stay healthy because they don't have time to, like, maybe exercise. They want to be, like, reassured that they're trying something good. Okay. Good job, guys. Thank you.